Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to another one of my videos. I am at Hotel Cheyenne today, as you can probably tell by the background music a little bit, the cowboy vibes, and of course the entrance of the Hotel Cheyenne as well, one of my favorite hotels here at Disneyland Paris. And in this video, I thought we would go back to Truck Wagon Cafe, which is the buffet restaurant, the main restaurant here at Hotel Cheyenne, and check it out because I haven't actually been there in years now. I checked it out last year in 2021, but back then it hadn't turned back into a buffet yet. It was still kind of um, a table service restaurant because of the pandemic. Pandemic. but now it's back to being normal you know full-on buffet so I thought we'd go and check it out my friend will be joining me as well so yeah come along and let's go eat before we head inside Hotel Cheyenne to check out Chuck Wagon Cafe I wanted to show you this awesome pumpkin that they've put for Halloween the Halloween season at Disneyland Paris it's of course Woody and Jesse as you can see with bullseye I didn't see this when I was last day when I did my Halloween hotel tour video which you can check out down below so I think they must have installed this a few days after I did the video but it's cool this is probably one of my favorite ones because you guys know how much I love Woody I mean if you had any doubts just look in my ears today they're very much sheriff ears and then I'm also wearing my sheriff spirit jersey as well the spirit jersey was released like years ago at, th at this point I want to say maybe in 2018 or 19 so I don't think they're on sale anymore but yeah very very cool it's a beautiful day as well weather wise even though I'm filming this on the 28th of October 2022 you're probably going to be watching this you know in the future <laughs> by the time you're watching this Halloween's gone but it's nice the weather's lovely and I'm really really hungry so <laughs> let's go in here we are now inside the beautiful reception lobby area of Disney's Hotel Cheyenne this is definitely one of my favorite lobbies here it's so beautiful it's got a unique smell as well it reminds me of my childhood because as a child whenever we visited Disneyland Paris we would normally stay in Disney's Hotel Cheyenne it's one of the cheaper ones more affordable ones and so yeah just brings back a lot of childhood memories it's so cool as well the theming in this hotel is just second to none in my opinion I mean everything from even their little post box here is themed to a cowboy vibe it is awesome it really is and if you haven't checked out my full tour of Hotel Cheyenne I'll leave the link down below just to get more of an idea of what this hotel is like but Chuck Wagon Cafe as you can see is just over there we do have a reservation for 6 p.m. which is coming up in the next five minutes or so you can see a few people already waiting in line maybe they'll have reservations maybe they're just waiting for walk-ups so yeah let's head in also look at Woody's beautiful face here just on this poster cowboy crunchies advertising these cereals apparently as seen on tv i absolutely love that so cool we have now joined the queue by the way here we are inside the restaurant and again you can see the theming is very much cowboy themed everywhere now i have the six o'clock booking which is the very first booking that you can get i would recommend this one if you don't want it to be too chaotic because buffet restaurants and especially this one this is one of the cheaper ones do tend to normally get very very busy look at the random halloween decorations they've got going on hello mr skeleton he does actually look quite creepy so we've just paid and for two people it was 76 euros obviously i did get my annual pass discount about seven euros off but yeah 76 euros for two people that would be what like 30 something euros each anyway like i said one of the cheaper options in terms of buffet restaurants and you get to choose one soft drink as well so we've got one apple juice and one uh, vitel one bottle of water and then we just wait here for them to take us to our table so we've got our table here nice little corner table and again i'm loving all the halloween decorations and also just the theming in general so you can be in a wagon if it's a large group of you you can see they've got big tables that would accommodate you here and it's just very fun and like I said oh <laughs> hello how are you <laughs> so we've got this nice little corner seat here on the side which is very very cute and you can see they've got these nice wagons as well so if there's a bit large group of you they can accommodate you as well look at that large table here the theming here is honestly fantastic and again you can see the replicas two other replicas there as well it's so nice to see this restaurant so quiet I can guarantee you that in about maybe 10 15 minutes time it's gonna get very very busy say hello to you Mendy yeah they may have the impression that I'm stalking you <laughs> he's back in the pocket like he's loving thing that <laughs> Have you ever eaten here before? Uh, a long time ago, but I don't have any memory yeah, of it. Yeah, as a so. child, you said, right? Yeah. yeah. It must have changed. So, so I'm quite excited. Yeah, exciting mm. times. Exciting yeah. times indeed. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd quickly show you the buffet whilst it's still nice and quiet, so that's hopefully not going to be distracting to other people. I mean, look at this. This is amazing. Like I said, this area is going to get very, very packed very, very soon. But let's start with, let's just start with this section here, right? Let's be logical. So here we can find some, bonjour. We can uh, tomato sauce here, uh, some pasta with braised meat, that looks quite good actually. Some regular pasta here, bolognese sauce, so all your pastas and sauces here. Um, what is this? Vegan chili. Good good uh, idea. The vegan chili in Disneyland Paris normally is very good actually. We've got some green beans, ratatouille, that's good. 
um, barbecue chicken legs so I might have to try one of those some vegetables here courgettes etc the standard Mickey hash browns mozzarella and tomato chausson is what it's called that looks good we'll have to try that let's carry on here here they seem to have some Tex-Mex chicken strips which seems nice lasagna as well and then ooh, what is this octopus okay this is an octopus dish i've never had octopus before this is what it looks like apparently we might have to try it just because i like trying new things we'll see and then they've got this cantado cream cheese and peppercorn sauce um, situation over here and then some sirloin steak down there which is always good might try one of those some patatas over there just some potatoes uh, with thyme and then up here we've got stir fried beef with corn that definitely looks really lovely as well so honestly a wide variety of things mainly Tex-Mex stuff so far I'm really impressed here as well they'll do some meat stuff for you if you wish to kind of like on demand sort of thing then here they've got a mushroom stir fry that looks awesome red and white rice that looks really good as well some broccoli salmon roast salmon over here and then white wine sauce so apart from the salmon this section is really good for vegetarians i would say that we are gonna have to try i'm a big fan of mushrooms i know it's not to everyone's taste but i love mushrooms a lot carrying on over here we've got these awesome looking chicken legs with spices oh these look delicious i'm a big fan of dark meat and that's why i love chicken legs hello <laughs> fantastic cast members here and then we've got some more oh my god okay so some baked potatoes here and then some ribs down there as well by the looks of it everything looks amazing so one thing i like about this buffet I actually is that they have a good variety of stuff for meat lovers vegetarians and vegans as well and then carrying on there's some sour cream here if you want to make some i guess chicken fajitas for yourself and then here salsa barbecue sauce etc and then i think this might be like a pizza section hello there Hi. um oh okay omelette with herbs that looks so good a mental cheese with grilled bacon also looks good even though i'm not the biggest fan of bacon and then omelette with a mental cheese so they've got it's nice that you can kind of see what they look like as well i guess they can make them fresh for you here <laughs> these are the ingredients thank you so much thank you very much and then oh they lovely lovely cast members they have a selection of nuts over here and then i believe this will be like the salad bar so you can see some cucumbers cheese tomatoes lettuce etc carrots cauliflower eggs all sorts of things so there you go that's the official salad bar sign and in the middle section here i believe might be either the starter section or dessert so yeah this is the starters loads of hams and salads again yeah different kinds of salads and beans etc all looks very good as well as some breads and then here you can also get um, a variety of like oils sesame oil olive oil etc my favorite is always olive oil big fan and then here is the pioneer kettle which i presume might be the children's area i'm not sure let's have a look so oh well this is just a uh, corn soup and then here it seems to be cornbread cornbread here is amazing some croutons over here and then another type of soup there so that's definitely not the children's section it's just for anyone here seems to be the dessert selection here apple crumble if you're a big apple crumble fan then this looks amazing some grapes over here for you and then a selection of cheeses again of course because we are in france a really a great variety of cheeses as well of course you can get your butters too if you wish to some more cheeses and then we get to kind of the cakey bits the more dessert type stuff so apple pie over here this is a um, crunchy praline red berries thing cake over there some oh my god these are cute oh these are very cute are they donuts thank you the cast member just turned around so we can have a look yeah they are mini little donuts i'm definitely gonna have to try these for dessert because they're woody as well very cute i like the theming again some more cowboy stuff there that's uh woody's exotic dessert will be interesting to see what's in that one and then here we've got a meringue lemon pie lemon jelly chocolate banana and then all the 30th anniversary macarons of course so yeah quite a good range of uh oh there's more there thank you oh my god this is cute the mickey dessert this is, this is for halloween right and they've got the cute little um vampire mickeys yeah this says uh, pumpkin cream so only special to this season over here and then the 30th anniversary desserts over here oh what is this floating island this looks very interesting and then they've got the sheriff um, chocolate mousses down there as well so loads of kind of woody themed stuff mickey stuff loads of nice stuff i am gonna go and get my first plate now because i'm very hungry and as you can see it is now getting a little bit busier right so as you just saw there is a lot available at this buffet restaurant i think that's why it's one of the more popular ones because 
even for picky eaters you can definitely find something here there's loads to go as well like for vegans vegetarians there's loads of options and at a decent price as well I believe it's 38 euros each and something like maybe 20 something euros for children I'm gonna put the price here so you can see exactly what it is but I'm gonna go and get my first plate now before I do that though, I want to give a quick shout out to three of my lovely viewers that I just met here at the buffet so shout out to Kelly Paul and Joey it was so nice to meet you and chat to you for a bit so Mendy just gone to get his food but this is my first plate I thought I'd start small some of you might say this is definitely not small Sam but I went for the roast potatoes some broccoli this was the cheese and tomato um, I guess bread basket situation I'm not sure what it was officially called I got some sour cream here because I couldn't find mayonnaise but then eventually I realized that they had the mayonnaise at the end so when you kind of come out of the buffet you can find them there a um, couple of chicken wings and then two pieces of the sirloin steak as well just because I've never tried those before at this restaurant so I thought why not and then of course I had to get the Mickey hash browns too so yeah I'm gonna give these a taste test now we are gonna try with the sirloin steak first because it's the one that I'm most intrigued about it's not often that steak in buffets is amazing and I'm very particular about my steaks but why not give this a go that's actually really nice a little bit cold but that could be because it took me a while to obviously get everything from the buffet but the taste the flavor it's definitely there. Let's face it, the French know how to make steak and I like my steak to be quite red on the inside, like medium to medium rare, so this is really, really nice. Potatoes, mm, the potatoes are good, really nice and flavorful, really tasty. They did actually have some fries as well. I don't think I showed them on camera, but right next to the giant area where they had some chicken, chicken legs. I think I got too excited about the chickens, but you can get some regular fries if that's more to your taste, especially if you have kids there. Let's try one of the chicken wings, the barbecue chicken wings. Not bad, and thankfully not too barbecue, because I'm not the biggest fan of overly barbecued food, like things that uh, you know taste too much of barbecue sauce. This is nice. The broccoli is probably just going to be just regular broccoli, but it's good. These as well, I've tried them before. They have them in basically all the buffets at the moment. They came out for the 30th anniversary of Disneyland Paris, so if you go to any of the buffet restaurants doing the 30th anniversary, you should be able to get these. They just taste like hash browns, but they are nice. And then the final thing that I've got on my plate to try is this cheese and tomato thing, which I have high hopes for. So let's give it a taste test. Mm. Wow, you can see the tomato nest in there. It's almost like, tastes a little bit like pizza in a way. Like just very basic mozzarella pizza, just in a very nice fluffy bread. I like it. You've come with the first plate menu. Main yeah. salad stuff for now? Yeah, I'm on a diet. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's good though. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I'm definitely surprised by the range of choice that there is. You're I right. Know, right. I don't eat meat, but yeah. uh, I have tons of ideas for the food on my plate. For your next plate. Cool. Yeah. Well, bon appetit. We are going to continue eating and get back to you when our second plate comes. So, just like that, we've got my second plate here in front of me, magically. Um, so, I decided to go for the white and red rice. I believe that's what it was called over here. It looks really nice. This was like a mushroom stew of some sort. Um, you would have seen it earlier in the buffet. It looks amazing. This is obviously a vegetarian dish. And then some chips, uh, as well as one of the chicken legs. Some sour cream again as well. Lord have mercy, I was just telling Mendy, I'm <laughs> probably going to have to go back for one more plate before we go to my desserts because there are so many options here. I mean, a lot, a lot of good options, like a variety of things, which is what I like in a buffet. You want to be able to try a bit of everything, not kind of be tied down to just one type of dish. So I'm definitely going to probably go back for... Um, the chicken fajitas. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. From the UK and Lovely. It means a lot to me. What's your name? Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Holly. Hello. Hi. What's your name? I'm Holly. Holly, nice to meet you. Hi. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy your meal. Um, so yeah, we're probably going to go and get chicken fajitas and something else is what I really want to get. I can't remember. The omelettes look amazing. I might think maybe uh, Mendy might try that because he is mainly vegetarian. I think he does eat fish as well, so maybe pescatarian, but he mainly tries to eat uh, vegetarian. So we'll see. We'll see what he thinks of it. Big love to Holly as well. So nice to meet you always. It just makes my day. It really does. Thank you guys. Okay, so I'm going to try a little bit of the mushrooms with the rice together. That is really nice. The mushrooms don't even taste too mushroomy. So if you're not a big fan of mushrooms, you might still enjoy it. It's like a bit of a garlic sauce to it, which is so lovely, like really nice and juicy too. Yeah, the mushroom and rice thing is definitely a good combination and I would recommend it to vegetarians. I think it probably would be vegan too. You're gonna have to double check that, but I think it probably is vegan. So yeah, again, this restaurant, great options for all kinds of eaters. I'm gonna try a little bit of the chicken now, the chicken leg. 
Mm. Yeah, that is good. That's definitely nice. It's not phenomenal. I, I love chicken. I'm very picky with my chicken as well. So I wouldn't say this is the best chicken I've ever had. But it's pretty good chicken. And I, like I said, I do prefer dark meat to white meat. So when it comes to chicken, I'm more of a like leg and thigh person rather than chicken breast person. And then, yeah, the chips as well. They're probably going to be regular chips, but who doesn't love chips, right? I've got chips seven with a bit of paprika in it, mm -hmm. uh, mushrooms. These things, I don't know what it is, but I love them and the plants are golden. Have oh, you ever I tried, tried those? Early. I tried it's them really early. good. They're so nice. They're and so I've got nice. corn soup, so oh, mm, corn I've heard soup. really good things about this, so I'm gonna try it. Well, enjoy. Welcome to my third and hopefully final plate before we go back for a round of desserts. I decided to go back for some of the Solon steak because it was really, really nice. The potatoes from the first round and also an omelette. Um, I think this is the cheese and herbs omelette. They might have put some bacon pieces in there as well, I can't remember. But they do it fresh there for you, which is really, really cool. And also I've got a couple of the cornbreads as well because I enjoy cornbread a lot. So let's give the omelette a try really because everything else I've tried, the omelette and the cornbread is what needs to be tried now. This is my plate. Shout out to Mendy for filming. Um, we are going to take a bite out of the omelette first then. Because like I said, that is the most intriguing of everything. And the fact that they make it fresh there for you. And big shout out to the cast members there as well. There's a couple of them. They were so, so lovely. You'll be seeing them right now, hopefully. They were so nice. It's so nice to kind of go around the buffet and have lovely, smiley cast members, you know, making your food for you. So there you go. Let's see how, um, how good the omelette is. I haven't had an omelette in a long time. I have to say, it's not my preferred way of having eggs, but these omelettes just looks so good I just had to had to give them a go they're very good <laughs> they are very good quite cheesy because I went for the one with their mantel cheese but um yeah as far as omelettes go I'm a fan definitely a fan it is currently 20 minutes past eight we've been here for about two hours and a bit just chatting so big shout out to Mendy if you're watching this he's just gone to get his next plate I think we're just gonna go for dessert now the omelette was really really nice I would recommend it it just needed a little bit of salt but you can get some salt and I put some on it I thought I'd just quickly try one of the cornbreads as well they're very very small they look a bit like muffins so no, let's give this a go mm. It is very good, very, very good. Mendy's food has arrived, his dessert. He is struggling with the, the Avenir um, Oh yes, cobweb. so annoying, but uh, <laughs> at least pops up for the thought of theming. Good theming, um, yeah. yeah. So that's really, that's really nice, actually, the selection of things. I'm not uh, a big chocolate lover, so. Really? No. Whereas I love chocolate, so my place is gonna be very different to his, so there you go, enjoy. And here is my plate of desserts. A lot of nicely themed desserts, actually, so we've got Sheriff's Mousse here with the Sheriff Etoile, which is very similar to my one here that I'm wearing on my spirit jersey. The cast member actually complimented that as well and I actually even took a photo of me with it, so I'm just going to insert that here. Shout out to that cast member, his name was Sammy. Very, very fun. And then I got this uh, little cupcake with Woody's hat on it. I believe this is just like a regular vanilla cupcake, maybe some chocolate inside, I'm not sure. The Captain Hook Mousse which has gone a bit wrong because it was really hard to get it off the tray. Uh, this is only for Halloween, so if you're coming uh, on another season, then you might not be able to get the Halloween stuff. And then the donut that I showed you earlier with the woody print on it, very cool. And that chocolate thing, I'm really not sure what it is, but overall, it's a very chocolatified plate, very opposite to what Mendy has time for. A full-on dessert taste test, even though I'm already incredibly full, so what are we going <laughs> to start with then? The donut because I feel like it's already melting and it's going to be a bit of a mess but look at it very cute very cute woody whoa 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 who doesn't like donuts I know who doesn't Molly from Mammoth Club she's not a big fan of donuts but I love them pretty good it's all right it's not the best donut I've had it's dark chocolate as well so if you don't like dark chocolate it might not be your thing but good theming time for the sheriff chocolate mousse <laughs> Oh Lord have mercy. This is just going to be chocolate mousse. This man Paris is a big fan of chocolate mousse. A lot of their buffets do them. Thankfully I'm also a fan of chocolate mousse though. And this one's good. Well that actually really is good. It's like a hazelnut uh, vibe as well. So it's chocolate and hazelnut. Very nice. Very nice. And this would just be like a little white chocolate piece I would say. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> the Captain Captain Hook. I think it's probably gonna be another <laughs> Captain Hook. The Captain Hook mousse. I think it's probably gonna be another mousse to be honest. Perhaps a little bit different. Oh, it looks like it's just another mousse. Literally the exact same taste as well. Just in a different shape, different form. 
Mm. Now this is a little bit nicer actually because the bottom of it has like a little layer, can you see? Oh, yeah. Of like a little bit of a cake, sponge cake vibe, so it's not just mousse. A bit different. Next item on our list is this cute woody hat cupcake, which will probably just be a basic cupcake, but listen, it looks cute, right? Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Shout out to Mendy, fail cut. <laughs> Next is this woody cupcake. <laughs> right way around this time around. You can see this cute hat here. It's probably just gonna be a regular cupcake, but at least it looks cute, right? So let's give this one a go. Sorry if it's gonna get all messy as well. You guys know that I'm a messy eater, especially when it comes to things like desserts. Lord have mercy. I don't know how to do this. Oh, I've got a couple of looking cute ears. <laughs> Legit? <laughs> oh no, okay. <laughs> I was afraid you would. Oh my god, that would have been terrible. Oh, the cobwebs here are something else. This tastes like vanilla, just like a simple, okay. simple okay. cupcake. Cupcake, yeah, with uh, with vanilla frosting, I would say. I like this. It's nice, very simple. But who's to say simple is bad? You know, Woody was a simple guy, a simple cowboy from <laughs> Andy's toy room. <laughs> Andy's laughing in the background. So you never know. Got one last thing to try. It's this. As you can see, it's probably just going to be the same as everything else we've tried so far, the mousses. It feels a little bit less... Sorry, I'm just being distracted by this cobweb. Yeah. Exactly, more or less the same. So basically, I had chocolate mousse on my plate, just in different shapes, and one woody, <laughs> woody, um, what was it called? Cupcake. You can see them all here. I'm going to go through them again and eat them all off camera. Mendy, did you enjoy your <laughs> your desserts? I did, I did. It was a bit more varied than yours. But <laughs> <laughs> what was your favourite one? <laughs> How do you, the lemon, lemon, the lemon meringue. Yeah, it was my favourite one. But the cherry it. pie is also extremely good. So there you go. You can go for a cherry pie and meringue, something a bit more adventurous, or you can go for loads of chocolate mousse like I have. Do whatever you want. All of them have been so good so far. <laughs> I'm gonna eat. The time at the moment is 20 minutes past nine, as you can see here, as Minnie is very kindly and fashionly, fashionfully showing us. But I thought I'd show you the bar really quickly as well. We're still in the same place here at Chuck Wagon Cafe, but there is a bar here. Uh, they also have another bar, separate bar at Cheyenne, but this is the bar of the restaurant. And I just wanted to show you this, the seats, the chairs. I don't really know what you call these, but you know, like a horse. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what it's called in English, where you would sit on if you were sitting on a horse, basically. Again, excellent theming, really cool theming. I think Mendy and I have decided that we are gonna sit down for a bit here, just to have a slightly different experience for the next half hour or so, because we have eaten a lot and we have literally been here for the past three and a, and a half hours, roughly, I would say, three hours and 20 minutes we've been here. So we might as well make a full night out of it. Before we go there, I just bumped into the lovely, what's your name? Sophie. And Shana. Shana. How awesome is the jumper? over there amazing i love this little mickey thing as well very very cool um who did you eat here tonight we're uh, to we're both. oh i hope you enjoy hope you enjoy and shout out to casey casey your sister am yes. i correct <laughs> shout out to casey thank you for watching thank thank you. bye nice to meet you guys enjoy your meal we're on our horses now <laughs> How are you finding it? How are you finding the experience? Very comfortable <laughs> and because we have eaten too much also. Yeah, it's, not, it's not the most comfortable, but yeah, we're... we're, we're Mercury is not a real horse because no. he would have suffered. Yeah. <laughs> I would be sick if the horse actually started going. But it is a very interesting, unique place to sit, you know? Oh, very unique. Can you what? put your feet here? Yeah, I can't find my footrest area. Just, Where is it? Maybe it's small. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's really down. <laughs> We're, it's, it's not it's not great um, <laughs> you might be able to see a video here of me trying to get on this whether or not I put it depends on how I feel about it it's mainly fell filmed it was it really bad no it was quite funny if you see it it means that I was okay with it <laughs> we'll see also I've just seen on there that this bar is actually called the saddle bar which now leads me to believe that what I'm sitting on is also a saddle so those of you who commented down below thank you but I think I've got my answer now we've sat on saddles horse saddles so we are now leaving the truck wagon cafe um, it's gotten a lot less busy now there was a period in between where it got busy but considering it's now 10 minutes to 10 p.m. it definitely isn't quite as busy anymore but yeah it was really lovely au revoir merci look at this goodbye to our horses that we just <laughs> sat on earlier on those saddles that now now know the name of please do correct me if i'm wrong I, i'm pretty sure it's a saddle anyway and just like that we are back into the beautiful lobby again 
of the Hotel Cheyenne. Very nice and peaceful actually when it's not too busy. Like if you come here around 2, 3 p.m. when it's prime check-in time, it can get very busy. That's the shop over there. They also have a Starbucks as you can see all the way down there. As I said, watch my whole uh, full tour of this uh, hotel if you wish to. It's one of my favorite hotels here and it is really, really nice. The smell of the atmosphere. It's just very, very peaceful. Anyway, did you enjoy your meal tonight? I really enjoyed it. I was not expecting the food to be so good. I'm glad. Because um, I also feel the same about this. As someone who does not eat meat, there was a really a vi a variety of choices. Mm -hmm. And I never felt, you know, like there was a lack in something. That's good to really That's good. really good. And really, I agree really with good. that. Definitely and the things that you tried were good, right? Really good. Really good. Everything I tried, I was a fan of. I mean, the desserts, that was my own fault. And most things I would just taste the same, but that's because I chose the things that were all chocolatey. But the main food, really good. Really good quality, good taste, good flavor everywhere. I would recommend it. And I would say it's probably one of the better buffet restaurants here at Disneyland Paris. I am impressed. But anyway, we are back outside the Cheyenne. I love this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have eaten here at Chuck Wagon before um, and what your thoughts were. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe for more videos like this, follow me on Instagram, do whatever you wish to. Thank you to Mendy in the back as well. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.